In this morning's Breakfast Bible Bites, we will delve into Psalm 73, verses 1 through 4, where Asaph contemplates a question that at times may occur in the mind of a believer. Verse 1 of 73 reads, Surely God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. In verse 1, the psalmist weighs an anchor to the positive attributes of the God that he knows to be true, that will sustain him when the storms of life assail him. Using the forces of things that are not readily understood, he writes, There is a God who presides in the affairs of people, such as those who are of a clean heart. Jehovah cannot act unjustly or unkindly to them. His goodness to them is beyond dispute and without mixture. The principle is carried forth in the New Testament in Philippians 1, uh, chapter 1, verse th- uh, 6. I am sure of this, that he who started a good work in you will carry it out to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Verse 2 of Psalm 73 reads, But as for me, my feet came close to stumbling. My steps had almost slipped. The writer speaks to the doubt that had formed into wavering opinions of his mind, hesitating, troubled, and doubtful. His faith had slipped its moorings, and he was adrift on a sea of doubt. He compares this to something like sliding down a slippery slope, struggling to retain his balance. Unable to find a railing to stabilize his descent, he came close to stumbling. The writer confesses his debasement in comparison to those whose firm faith comes from an undefiled heart. And as a result, even his unruly mind is found unworthy of a person who professes to have a pure heart. Verse 3 of Psalm 73 reads, For I was envious of the arrogant, as I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Asaph confesses, I looked around me at my nation, and I noticed that the wicked among my people were the ones prospering, and the godly were not. Therefore, as an heir of heaven, I was a fool for being envious of the foolish. My sight was limited to their prosperity on earth, while I was blind to their catastrophic future. Verse 4 of 73, for there are no pains in their death and their body is fat. The psalmist declares the reason for his bewilderness. The wicked lived in peace and plenty and they appeared to die in that same state. They did not seem to suffer in proportion to their wickedness. There was no sign of divine displeasure as they were about to leave this world. Having lived an opulent life, they seemed to die in a similar peace especially since they were all fat and not emaciated emaciated or weakened by their disease. They go to their death in apparent good health, fearing neither God nor the devil. Apparently, the question that is on Asaph's mind is, if they have not suffered in either life or death, what advantage is there for me in living a life of piety? Well, we will be given the answer in the to the psalmist's perplexing inquiry in tomorrow's Breakfast Bible Bites.